Okay, this video is going to be quite quick. This is going to go over how to add the functionality to the Pig Latin Translator. I'm going to be using the preamble of the Constitution to do the conversion. Uh, so let me go ahead and run the application to show you that it actually works at the moment. So here's our application. If I paste in the preamble and I say English to Pig Latin, we get the Pig Latin. And then I say Pig Latin to English, it converts it back. Okay, great. So the way we do this is there is actually two ways of reading in a string versus reading in a char, an int, a double, float, whatever other data type you might read in. So what we do, so we don't need this, is we come over to our Pig Latin Translator dialog. If you haven't already double clicked on, if you double click on the button, it'll bring you over to it. The first thing we actually need to do is we need to create a container at the top, or a holder, as I've called it. And we also need to make sure we do the include. So make sure you go include string, and then include vector objects dot header file. Then do using namespace, because we will be using the standard library. Um, next, what you want to do is you want to create a vector object, and say vector of type word object called holder. And what this is going to be used for is it's going to hold the objects in when we do our conversion in the first box to the second box so in English and then we're going to hold it so that we can just repost it into the English environment and the reason for that is there is actually no way to truly do Pig Latin back to English without errors throughout it you actually have to do a matching pair and I'll show you an option that you can actually change later on if you want to adapt it to um, a more stable environment or a more exact comparison. So next what you want to do is you want to come up to your on button click for English to pig and then you want to go English to pig these are just comments and say C string I called it edit control holder because literally that's what it's going to do it's a C string you could call it C string if you want um, and then we use the get dialog item text field and then what we're doing is we're going to uh, pull in the field name or the field ID uh, text English 1 which is the first field at the top and then we're going to temporarily assign it to the holder since we're temporarily assigning it directly after we type string type string to English 1 that's the first English field and then I found this link and I will be posting if you look on the github for this information I found two links you can do it this way and there's another option which I'll pop it up real quick for you um, at this URL it explains why you do it as the CW2A conversion and then there's apparently a little bit more secure version where you can do the CT2CA again go ahead read that on your own free time let's jump back into it so we've gone ahead and we've converted to a string next what we want to do is we want to initialize our um, string vector and then we want to initialize our word vector so first we take all of the words and we split them up using our split string to vector function that we've created and we store it or we return it back into a string vector then the vector of word objects takes in a vector of type string and converts it to our vector of words where it would have a word and then the next field is a boolean telling us whether or not it's a capital letter um, at the moment this actually doesn't affect us but that's how I built it when I initialized it or when I started the project and then the last value is the special character if it exists next what we do is we do our conversion in this so we're gonna say take the English vector that we've returned and we want to create a new vector again we're basically duplicating this and we're changing it out to um, instead of English words we're doing the conversion to pig Latin so it's going to contain pig Latin words with still whether or not it's uppercase and the special character in the other two placeholders next what we do is we're going to convert this whole thing into a string a readable string just like we had the preamble when we read it in it will have the complete sentence with all the punctuation in it still with capital letters so it says okay convert to string words to string pig latin which is this vector of the pig latin and then the next thing is what we're doing is we take the 
pig to lowercase, which will use the string to lowercase function we created and convert all of the characters to lowercase. Then we simply, after we've converted, we declare a new C string and we're calling it CS English to pig. And we go, okay, what are we going to do? We want to put in this C string, the pig lowercase, and then we're going to again cast it to the C string method. Last, we go, okay, just like getting the dialogue, we will set the dialogue for the text, define what text we want to set. So we grabbed it from English. Now we're posting to the TXT pig Latin ID, which is the second field down. And then what we're doing is we're placing in the string that we've converted. Now let's continue on. That holder we created originally that we've defined up here is we're containing that English holder. All we're going to do is simply define a string called ENG string and it's going to equal to the words string holder. In other words, the English words itself. So we could have called it English words holder if that would make more sense for you. Then simply all we do is we set it like we did up here and we take the English words holder to the string and set it to the third dialog box so that when we click on it, it actually takes the first value down. If you didn't create the holder at the top, you would not be able to access the value within the first button because it's hidden based on scope or encapsulation. Thanks for watching. And one last thing. So if you wanted to, you could adapt the original word object class so that instead of it having a capital letter, because I've realized at the end of this, that doesn't matter since we created a two lowercase function, you could have easily just said the first parameter will hold a word, the second parameter will hold the punctuation if it if exists, and then the third will hold a word which would be the pig Latin. So then you could actually create a full, um, more secure and more exact comparison and create a function that would go if this word exists in the list we have of words located in English, then convert to the English word. But again, that's for you to do. That's a little bit more advanced and a little bit more functionality. Again, thanks for watching.